Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news, the IMF has cut its forecasts for growth in the world's largest and third largest economies. That's the United States and Japan. It's cut its forecast for the United States growth to 2.8% from 3%. And it's cut its growth forecast for Japan to 1.4% from 1.6%, in part because of the devastating earthquake and tsunami. The slower growth forecast in the United States is linked to a slower recovery in jobs growth and also the higher oil price. And therefore we saw the oil price come off its 30-month highs after these IMF cuts in their growth forecasts. Meanwhile, as if to emphasise the problems in Japan, Toyota has announced it is suspending its production in some of its US plants for five one-day periods. That's because of a shortage of components that are made in Japan. Meanwhile, the second-in-command at the US Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, has come out and said that food and fuel price increases are unlikely to have a permanent increase in inflation. Now, people in the markets read that, that the Federal Reserve is unlikely to start increasing rates all that quickly and is unlikely to unwind its money printing program. Meanwhile, back in New Zealand, the Commerce Commission is in the news. Vector is very grumpy about a change in the regime for power prices, which means that Vector is going to have to cut prices. Its share price fell 4%. And also a bunch of t telecommunications companies want to see the Commerce Commission retain its ability to regulate the telecommunications industry, despite the government's plans to give telecom and others a 10-year regulatory holiday in exchange for a good deal on building the broadband network. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.